Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John DeVillo. Hey, our buddies over at Fox News, we love them. Yay, we're Rupert Murdoch and everybody else over there at Fox. We love you guys. Robert, Roger, Ailes, everything. Fox is the best. We dig it. Uh, so, you know, Back Handy, O'Reilly, Sheppy, all of them. So, here's the deal. Uh, Megan Kelly rocks. So, basically, a new Fox poll came out. Brett Bear is good, too. We don't want to, you know, we're not sleeping on Brett Bear or Carl Hammer. Anyway, we love the Fox team. A new poll came out that says <laughs> that only less than 30, less than 30 percent of Americans think that Obama's going to get reelected. Oh, the tears of the little liberals. Oh, the Messiah and Oprah Winfrey with her new own. How about Pwned Network? Okay, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, and now Obama just crashed under the rocks and he's being destroyed. And now people are seeing that he's going to win. And here's the thing. Do you think that Obama's going to win re-election? And like Sarah Payne says, she has two words to describe Obama. Jimmy Carter. But let's talk about that for in one second. So do you think that Obama's going to get re-elected? Do you think that he'll get challenged by the, someone on the, on the left because the left is now upset at him? What is, give me the percentage. What's your percentage? Give me the over under for Obama being reelected. Do you think it is, it's 50%, 70%, 30%, 10%, 0%? What do you think that it is? Number one. I think personally, he's crafty, he's got Axelrod, he's got the media behind him, everything like that, but. I, I put it, uh, giving him all the benefit of all that. And it depends on who we pick on the Republican side, because we can't pick a clown. 20%. 20% chance this guy gets reelected. I mean, I think, I'd love to have it at 0%, but nothing's 0%. And I think that, you know, they're, you know look, it's going to be a campaign. They're going to go pull out all the stops, whatever like that. But I think the people have gotten a real close look now. This isn't traditional, oh, it's the waves. It goes one way, and it goes the other way. And, and the 40% over here and 40% over here, John. And then there's only 20% in the middle, JDV. And this is the independents. They're so smart. I think that people got a clear view of what Obama is like and what America under Obama and the super liberals are like, and they're like, we don't want any any part of that. Just again, like like Jimmy Carter, and there was a wave of Republicans. It doesn't mean that we that Republicans can be you know stupid. Doesn't mean we can you know nominate dumb candidates, whatever like that. But anyway, that, that's what I think right now. We'll see what happens going forward. But the bigger question is, or at least as big a question, is the fact that hey. What's with all these people saying, oh, gee, oh, Sarah Palin's, Sarah Palin's great, JDV. She's great for fundraising. She, I like her. She's really cute and pretty, whatever, beautiful, whatever. And, but, but, you know, have her stay in Alaska or, or just stay on Fox News. And you don't, I don't think she'd make a great president. But I don't think she could win. Wait, uh, time out. Are you saying she's worse than Obama? Fail. Are you saying that if we're saying only 30% of people think that she, uh, that Obama's going to get reelected, you can run a ham sandwich against Obama and they're going to get reelected. I think they're scared that, that, that Sarah Palin can win and that they're going to be frozen up, the little insiders and all that type of stuff. Uh, we don't want to hear it. And, and don't be talking to me about Jeb Bush. And I'm tired of all the Bushes. Hey, GW is great. You know, we respect Papa Bush, the whole lot. And I like Jeb. Jeb's cool. We, we, you know, we don't need any more Kennedys or Bushes or Clintons or anyone like that for a while. Okay? This is America. It's a, it's a democratic republic. Okay? Representative republic. It's not an aristocracy. I don't care what your last name is. Let's get on that. So, the deal is, I think this shows that, that Sarah Palin has an excellent chance to win and get elected as president against Obama. What do you think? Does this help Sarah Palin? Does this hurt her? Does it remain the same? And what about Obama's chances to win? Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. You're watching Conservative New Media, and we'll see you next time. Go Sarah.